We use the English names of the days of the week in our routine lives, but we haven't thought about where these names originated. In this video, we'll be looking at the days of the week and how they originated differently from each other. The days of the week are named after pagan gods and goddesses. It was the period when Christianity had not arrived in Britain. Let's start with the first day of the week, that is Sunday. It's the main religious day in Christianity, but in pagan times, it was named after the sun because it had a sacred place in the lives of people, and everyone knew the sun was very important to survival. The German word for Sunday is Sonntag. That also means sun's day, therefore it's a day dedicated to the sun. Moving on, we have Monday. Monday means moon's day. We know the significance of the moon, and it was the second most important thing for people at that time. In German, it's Montag. Here, Mon represents the moon. In French, it's named Lundi. As in French, Lune means moon. Thus, we can see that in French as well, Monday is named after the moon. Let's talk about the next days of the week. Tuesday is named after one of the pagan gods called Tiu. It came from some sort of North European group of gods, and Tiu was known as the god of war and sky. The French word for Tuesday also comes from the southern group of gods, which are the Roman gods. Their god of war is Mars, which gives the French name of Tuesday as Mardi. And it's also associated with the planet Mars known as the Red Planet. Next, we have the trickiest pronounced day, Wednesday. Yep, you're right, it's always the trickiest one to spell. It's pronounced as Wednesday, which is different than the way it's spelled. It's named after the chief god Wun. He was at the top of all gods and was known as the in charge of all other gods. And in the southern groups of gods that are the French, Wednesday is called Mercredi, which is named after the planet Mercury. Mercredi was the French god, was the messenger of God. In this case, Mercury is not equivalent to Woden. The next one is Thursday. That is named after Thor. He was the northern god of thunder responsible for lightning and storm. In German, Thursday is Donnerstag. Donner means thunder in German. Hence, we see that in German, Thursday is also named after the god of thunder. And in the southern gods, it's named after Jove, who is equivalent to Thor, because Jove is also the god of thunder and lightning. This gives the French name of Thursday as Jeudi. You might be thinking that which days are named after a goddess. Friday is the only day of the week that is named after a goddess named Freya, that is the wife of the chief god and represents love. In German as well, Friday is named Freytag, that is named after Freya. And in French, Friday is named Vendredi, that is named after Venus, that is the Roman goddess of love, and it's also linked with the planet Venus. At last, we have everyone's favorite day. Yes, you guessed it right, we're talking about Saturday. It's the first time that a day is not named after a North European god. Saturday is named after a Roman god, Saturn. Saturn was the Roman god of agriculture and is also linked with the planet Saturn. We hope that this video helped you in understanding the meaning behind the days of the week. We'll see you next time with another interesting topic.